In this video lesson, we're going to be having a look at Zoom settings in Microsoft Word. Zooming a document is rather like using a pair of binoculars or a camera to get closer to the words. We don't actually alter the words at all. We don't make them any bigger or smaller. We just look at them from a closer distance. If I was doing this in a in a taught class, I would hold up a book in, in front of somebody's face and ask them to read the document and then move the book closer to their face. That is the effect of zooming. You're making it easier to read by zooming the document closer to your face. Not physically, because the computer screen will stay where it is. I've got a document open on the screen with some text in the document and that is a little bit hard to read. It's the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, but it can be hard to read. So what we can do is use the zoom settings and there's two ways of doing this. The first is using the zoom drop down menu on the toolbar. So at the top right hand side, if I click on this drop down menu, I can choose what percentage I want to zoom the document to. So I can zoom to 100% and the document jumps closer to your face in effect so you can read the writing a little bit easier. Because of how much I've zoomed in there I then have to use my scroll bar to see the edges of the page. Have a look at that again. That's using the zoom, drop down and choosing the zoom level. There's 500%. That can be useful if you're trying to fine-tune things, but it's not very useful for editing. You're too close in. Now remember, I'm not changing the size of this text. When we print this document out, the text will not be any bigger. It will just look bigger on the screen because we are zooming in using the zoom tool. 10%, that's very difficult to read, but it does help you see how many pages you've got in a document. I generally like around 75%. It allows me to get an overview of the whole document. I can see the margins. Um, and that's my preferred, but it really is up to you where you want to set that. I said there were two ways, and there are. That's the zoom drop down. We can also get it from the view menu. We click on view and drop down to zoom. And that brings up the Zoom dialog box where I can use some of the pre-selects. And in the right hand side it gives us a preview of what that will look like. Or I can dial up a percentage here by using the up and down arrows. I can change that zoom level. Let's choose it 61% and then OK. And the document immediately jumps to 61%. You can also type into the box. So if I want 82%, I can type 82 into there, press the Enter key, and I'm now presented with the document at 82% zoom. One of the things you've got to be careful of when using zoom, especially if you're using the menu option, is the menu option that's just next door to zoom which is full screen that's easy to click on by mistake and actually jumps the document to full screen so it hides all your menu bars means all you can see is a full document you won't be able to see that i can but to come out of that system you just click on the close full screen button and it jumps back down to normal size so don't panic if you try to zoom a document using the menu and hit full screen by mistake, just use the close full screen button to bring it back to normal. That's using zoom. In this lesson, I'm not going to look at these toolbars. We'll be doing that in, in a couple of lessons time. Um, but sometimes if you can't see the features you're after, you need to use this little drop down button at the end. And it could be the zoom box that you're looking for is actually one of these options here. 
and you can use it in just the same way this is just an extension to the toolbar because if I shrink the document down you can see a lot of my icons are disappearing because they can't be displayed so I can use the drop down at the end to choose the icons so that's zooming bring that back to the full screen using the drop down here or the view menu